New tonight, Baltimore police have identified two officers involved in a shooting yesterday morning in Baltimore's Waverly neighborhood. The shots critically injuring a man who police say had knives in his hand. WJZ is live in the city police headquarters. Devin Bartolotta has the latest on the investigation. Devin. Good evening, Marcus. These two officers have 18 years of experience on the Baltimore Police Department between the two of them, and neither of them has been involved in a shooting before. Officer Gary Brown and Officer Supreme Jones, each part of the investigation into a shooting Friday morning on the 3300 block of Greenmount Avenue. Baltimore police say those officers opened fire on a man waving a knife in each hand. He reportedly ignored commands to drop his weapons. A guy danced around with two knives in his hands. The police told him to drop the knives. Police say a taser had no effect and officers fired several shots. Witness video captures the moment the suspect was loaded into an ambulance with critical injuries. And I'm not sure what his state of mind was. Uh, I think it's safe to say it was unstable, it was threatening, it was menacing. Protesters denounced the shooting at the scene the next day, saying officers should have done more to de-escalate. But Police Commissioner Kevin Davis says they did everything they were trained to do. By all accounts, the officers went uh, step by step by step to not only try to protect this community, but to protect this suspect. Officer Gary Brown has been on the force for 16 years. Supreme Jones joined the force in 2014, and neither have been involved in a shooting incident before. Police now looking at body camera footage from one officer and investigating if the suspect made any direct threats before he was shot. Tonight, that suspect is still in critical condition. Reporting live at police headquarters tonight, Devin Bartolotta, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, Devin, and a tragedy struck at that small protest today when a one-month-old baby stopped breathing. An officer performed CPR until medics arrived, but the baby girl later died at the hospital. The medical examiner has not determined the cause of the baby's death.